What's up guys, Beastank06 with the Dernitz Elite Flotilla, and this is one of my first videos um, regarding manual targeting. This one's going to be manual speed calculation. Now, um, I'm going to make a bunch of videos, standalone videos, on how to do these things, and then eventually work my way up to videos that combine bigger methods, such as the four bearing method, broken TDC, but for now, we're going to start with this one. This is the manual speed calculation. Uh, I am at the Naval Academy, the Naval Artillery section of the Naval Academy. I have in front of me a tanker, and I'm going to show you how this is done now. In order to manually um, calculate the speed, you need to have, obviously, identify the ship. You're going to need to use this vertical crosshair on your UZO or or periscope your choice and you're going to need your chronometer okay I'm going to show you how this works okay. let me turn on the game I'm going to identify the ship Ziel wird identifiziert. open up the recognition manual let me just pause that now here's the most important number you need to know length when you're trying to figure out the speed you need to have the length the formula is the length of the ship divided by the time the ship takes to pass your vertical crosshair, okay? You're going to start your chronometer as soon as the bow touches it, and you're going to stop the chronometer when the stern passes it. Allow me to demonstrate. I start the chronometer. Chronometer, excuse me. My ship is at a dead stop. It's at it's zero knots. If you can keep it at zero knots, that's the best. Anything faster, and you're going to get really crazy readings, or you're not going to get an accurate speed reading on the ship. Zero knots is where you want to be. So I'm going to stop. Pause the game again just to recap. You need to be at zero knots, one or zero knots. Now, it took about 27 seconds for this ship to cross the vertical hair hairline here of the UZO. Using my, I've got my calculator with me. I'm going to take 94.8. I'm going to divide that by 27 seconds equals 3.511111, blah, blah, blah. Now, I'm going to multiply that number by 1.852, okay? That number, 1.852, is the amount of meters that's in one knot, okay? That gives me 6.5 knots, okay? I don't believe in half knots when it comes to these ships in this game. I've never really seen it, so I usually round up in cases like that. So I'm going to say that this ship is going at seven knots. I hope this helped you. Look forward to my next video.